willkommen and watch your cock to the Eurovulsion Song Contest to find the worst song in Europe. Ooh. First tonight, Ilki, Elki and Oki. <laughs> Not bad enough, in it. Nil point. Now, Luigi Gasbaggio. Bim, bam, bim, bam, bam, bam. No, no, far too good. <laughs> Null no pulse. Let's hope the four leaf clovers can do worse. The lyrics are too good. Uh, we still haven't found the worst song yet. Ah, Heineken. Now, from England. Oh, run, chicken in the air, stick a picture up your nose. Buy a jumbo, gents, and then bury all your foes. Paint your lemony green, then extract your wisdom teeth. All the string quartets, pretend your name. Dream cars like this may point the way to the future, but more to the point, when will they arrive? There is a company whose ideas for the future are practical today. Imagine, in the next 24 hours, over a thousand cars will be stolen. Most will be easy pickings. So who do you think is fitting high security locks to many of their cars to keep joyriders at bay? We all enjoy fresh air. So the same people have developed a range of lean burn engines to reduce exhaust emissions and enhance performance in the process. In conditions like these, you need all the grip you can get. Four-wheel drive used to be just for specialist vehicles, but this company now makes a system for family cars too. Reassuring when all your eggs are in one basket. They were also the ones who made anti-lock brakes standard on a range of big cars. But why stop with big cars? Now they've developed an anti-lock system for small front-wheel drive cars too. The kind most of us run around in. Then there's fog. Everyone hates it, especially when it's freezing. Clearly, an electrically heated windscreen, like the ones they use in aeroplanes, would be a worthwhile option. Guess who's thought of that too? The people who make everything from supercars like this the world's most popular hatchbacks. The people have been blazing trails in Britain for 75 years. Ford. It's Ford who have the flair and the resources to take the latest technology, keep the cost down, and bring us all the benefits. Not sometime tomorrow, but today. That's why when you drive a Ford, you're driving a car with the future. Insignia's got everything, shampoo to shower gel, deodorant and aftershave with one all over smell. Insignia, the new all over body program. It's new Insignia, and it's all over now. Station 97.3 FM.
Lieutenant's the name. I was between cases, so I stopped off at the sink in. The place was swimming over. Fingers and his mob were at their usual table, hatching something. I asked the barman and its pilsner. The cool taste was music inside me. So I asked for another, and introduced me to her sister, Candy Floss. Funny, I felt kind of hungry. She was suffering from arrested development. With her development, someone ought to be arrested. She told me she had a problem. I had a choice. My tenant's pilsner, or Candy's case. It was close, but not that close. Tenant's pilsner. It's good, but <laughs> not that good. Wes Craven, the director of A Nightmare on Elm Street, would like you to meet his latest creation. When Samantha walked into Paul's life, he thought it would be for good. Hi. But some things were never meant to be. I'm looking for my daughter. Did she come here? Imagine you lost. Daddy? The one you love. Dr. Greenberg's on his way. Imagine... You could bring them back. There's still a chance. Things we can do. You didn't say anything about a dead body. We're supposed to save her life. We're gonna try. Try? There's no heartbeat. She's ice cold. Imagine then a deadly friend. Who is it? Who's there? Huh? Sorry, I have three other interviews to do before this party's over. Yep, yeah, they're not working on something that'll change the world as we know it. They say they are. Yeah, but they're lying. There is a limit, even to the imagination. Human teleportation, molecular decimation, breakdown, and reformation is inherently purging. Where our greatest creations meet our deepest fears. Something went wrong, Seth. When you went through, something went wrong. You are about to go beyond that limit. Those weird hairs that were growing out of your back, I had them analyzed. But they were definitely not human. If you saw how scared and angry and desperate he is... I'm sure Typhoid Mary was a very nice person, too, when you saw her socially. No! You're afraid to be destroyed and recreated, aren't you? You're changing, Seth. Everything about you is changing. Oh, no. What's happening to me? Am I dying? I want to know what's going on. What does the disease want? It wants to turn me into something else. Oh, no. A fly got into the transmitter pipe with me that first time when I was alone. Don't go back to it. It could be contagious. Uh, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs>
before Mary Shelley could write her masterwork of terror, Frankenstein, she had to experience it. <laughs> Mind to raise the dead. Sorry. Yes, the skull of the black monk. His appearance was said to herald disaster. Gaze into the eyes. Conjure up your deepest, darkest fear. Call that fear to form, to life. Every journey begins in the mind. A flight of imagination. A vision of what might lie across the universe. Or within the deepest regions of the subconscious. Dr. Edward Pretorius is about to embark on such a journey. It's out of control. You've got to turn it off. of Reanimator from beyond. Hi. I just moved in next door. Could I borrow a Diet Pepsi? Sure. Yes! Be right with you! When you go all out for taste, the taste to go out for is Diet Pepsi. You okay in there? Here's your Diet Pepsi. Thanks. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. No trouble at all. Diet Pepsi, the choice for a new generation. Hmm. <laughs> 
Cora? It's too orangey for crows. It's just for me and my dog. I'll be your dog. I'll be your dog. Cora. now. From the mind of David Lynch comes a modern-day masterpiece so startling, so provocative, so mysterious that it will open your eyes to a world you have never seen before. She wore blue velvet But in my heart there'll always be Precious and warm a memory through the years, and I still can see blue velvet. Hey, neighbor. Here I come. You got about one second to live, buddy. Through my tears 